I'm Nick Guerra, a gardener with the City of London, and I'm here to take you on a tour of one of the greatest secrets the City of London has, the beautiful garden of St Dunstan's in the East. The Church of St Dunstan's in the East perished in the Great Fire of 1666, and so the church was rebuilt by Sir Christopher Wren. So as we enter the wrought iron gates, entering into the churchyard of St Dunstan's in the East, we can see that the garden has won several awards over the years, and it is quite a unique garden as you're about to see. But first of all, let's pop into the church. So it's quite unusual to walk into a church only to discover that the garden from the outside has been brought into the inside. The church was bombed in 1941 and lost its roof. As you can see we have all walls uh, intact and also a tower designed by Sir Christopher Wren. The beauty of St Dunstan's in the East is that it provides such a sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of the city itself, what's happening outside the walls, and city workers can have their lunch, it gets very busy in here, and you can see why, as it's quite an oasis. Centrepiece in, of the garden is a fastidious oak, Quercus fastigiata, and it's unusual because they are, of course, it's uh, multi-stemmed and stands very tall and contrasts very nicely with the tower. One unusual plant specimen contained in the garden is Drimus winteri. It has an unusual history in that the leaves are very high in vitamin C. So before vitamin C was isolated, the leaves were used to make tea to prevent scurvy. The garden is home to a myriad of birds, blackbirds, robins, wrens, blue tits and great tits, greenfinch and chaffinch, and the occasional goldfinch. 